Which one are we not vanishing? Oh, uh... Looks like Murdoch from here. Ballarock. Well, Ballar... Ballard Rock? Ballard Rock? Or is it with a ch? It's B-A-L-E-R... Ballard... Ballard Rock. Ballard Rock. Or Ballard Rock. Oh. I'm gonna say something a little bit naughty. So, you know how it's... Is it Coach? For the longest time, I thought it was... I thought it was... <laughs> mean conch no no not the shell and actually either way is technically correct wait what if you're talking about the seashell oh coke cock like k-o-c-h mm -hmm. I that, thought it, that cock i thought it was cock coach but it's coke. coach brothers yeah or the cock brothers just as good well, there was another one too that was really similar to it I remember just thinking like that. Those are terrible names. I mean, to be in like the the limelight like that. Yeah, to have a to a billionaire family. Mm -hmm. A magic cock shell. Um, <laughs> but in in terms of the seashell, conch and conch are both permissible. Sorry about, that. Sorry about that. I was mid cracker. It's okay. Crackers and Vegemite is a tasty combo. Globe. Um, yeah, the Keebler Club. Nice kind. The classy kind of cracker. The branded butter cracker. Branded butter cracker. I love it. Branded butter cracker despia. Okay. What am I doing? In tier three, and now it's like jumped up apparently. They they did just collect some data though. Apparently. Data collection. So they're recalculating and, and such. We uh we disagree with data collection. Yeah, don't data data mining and data um brokers, they are evil. They want to data rape you. I think fun decks are better than good decks, which is why I I but I also like winning, because I think winning's fun. So it's not really fun to, to play a deck um, and just lose. I'm all in favor of trying out different things. So I, I went all the way up and I got up to before, not this last season, rank season, but I got up to what was that? It, it was before they came up with Diamond. There was a, like another tier format, and then I switched to a, a total jank deck, like something that was just to see what everyone else at that tier was doing, and how they would handle it. Some kind of gimmick. I'm all in favor of finding oddball or quirk decks that are not normal. Off meta, rogue, rogue, and dangle. But what I don't like about new Yu-Gi-Oh! so far is there are too many there's too many archetypes that are like created, templated for you. So you, you don't have that freedom to find that weird, like janky com combination of cards because everything is locked into a specific archetype. It's like it goes out of its way to be like it only interacts with this specific type of, of this particular type of of cards and not only does it have to have the explicit name, keyword, and be of this type and attribute, but it also has to have this attack and defense, and it's like, okay, we get it, it's for that archetype. Nine. How about you, New? Can you speak German? Oh, Euro mix. Nine. <laughs> um, 
Говорите по-русски очень чичи. Which does not mean I'm a jelly donut. But, uh, welcome in. You're Liron Max. Liron Max? Uh, good morning. I'm Tov. Greetings. Oh, probably. The only care if we spoke German or not. You have a sword soul supreme sovereign, right? Uh, let's see. I think that is already. Yeah, that's part of my extra deck. <laughs> As well, they should. This is it. That's almost exactly the reason why I'm a Gurren Logan fan, first and foremost, and in favor of like Evangelion shaming. We should I normalize probably... Evangelion shaming, and and we should normalize Gurren Logan taking talking. Egan top and chauvinism. My main problem with Evangelion is the uh Well, I hate the whole thing. Where I just objectively hate it. But the damn songs get burrowed into my brain. Geomath Mech Final Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Well, anytime you can. All right. Uh, what do I want to do? Well, those are all free pulls, so did you get all of those? You just gotta go collect them. But now yeah. your deck's ready to play. Did I want to save? Uh, yep. Branded Buttercrackers. Well, you. you really should name it something to do with Sword Soul, because it has nothing to do with Branded. But it's up to you. Branded Buttercrackers. All right. You'll, you'll catch them on, off guard. Well, do they see my deck? No. But, I mean, they might, actually, if they decide to copy it. Never let them know your next move. Do you want to make a, an Ash Blossom or a Ghost Bell? Sure. You know what those are? What no, Ash Blossom is. Mm -hmm. The other one, I don't know. What do you think, RST? Is a Ghost Spell worth it? Two Ash Blossom and a Ghost Spell, or just three, straight up three Ghost Blossom, or Ash Blossom? <laughs> Ash Blossom. <laughs> or, and get rid of the right Geki, I think. Why am I getting rid of right Geki? Because it's sort of excessive. Isn't it that good? Um... Isn't it? Well, it's a meme card from like back in the day. It's not. Yep, they gave up. That's how good you are. I think Victory. Connected. You've it's won. Out. Yeah, it's connection fell. Right, because they got pissed off and disconnected. They suck and you you're awesome. Accelerate time. You like Poochie from JoJo. Play final countdown and then accelerate time until the universe resets and you win. It's the final countdown to do 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 no good reason nowadays. 
But back in the day, we we used to have. Yeah, yeah, same, same here. We used to have worthwhile reasons to go play the the paper TCG back in the day. Now, now there's no good reason to ever do it. Back in its heyday, it was like like being a part of a a brotherhood. Oh my god, Duel Masters. Like, man, this this game, Duel Masters, is almost good. So close, it's so close to being good, What? and then it just can't end to... I didn't know any kids that knew how to play Pokemon. There, like, no one had any real concept of how... How that game worked, everyone had just would argue that their card was better because of like weird whatever thing whatever made up thing that that came to their brain none of, none of them were good enough to to like smart enough to just read, but I didn't really get a chance to play it and then uh one day I inherited this weird box of Japanese cards because this this person couldn't sell it they they ran a surfboard shop. And they were selling Pokemon cards out of their surfboard shop because it like Pokemon had become such a crazy thing. Pokemon cards. Um, they got they got all hopped up on the the Pokemon craze, and they went and bought this weird Japanese box of Japanese cards that they didn't know anything about, under the assumption that it was just as good as Pokemon, and it just didn't sell. So it just sat there in their their case for the longest time. And they were like, you know what? Um, you're in here all the time, kid. Take this. And I was like, cool, thanks. Um, and I opened it up, and it was a bunch of weird-looking cards. And I didn't, it looked, like, vaguely demonic. There were, like, chicks with titties on it, and, like, a pentagram, and, like, an onk. And then years later, the anime shows up. Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's all the stuff that they're playing, except it's censored looking. Like, it's almost, like... And it's it's all the cards that, that I got in that box. 